ladies and gentlemen, I am back. The Crypto Crow is here. And this time, I'm not giving you any damn updates on anything because you hate them. Well, not all of you. I know a lot of you guys support a lot of what's going on. Some of you guys are just like, come on, Crow, you're slacking. Fuck off with your pay this. And like, look, I get it. There's been a lot of stuff going on. I've been trying to figure out like how to structure everything in a way that benefits all of us. Um, but tonight, I'm not doing any of that. Tonight, I am going to go through what is probably going to end up being, I don't know, we'll see. It could be the longest video I've done because I'm going to do a master class on Profit Trailer. Not even going to go into Profit Feeder in this video. I'm just going in to get those of you set up on Profit Trailer. Um, I am actually your host, Zangief. Um, because I just got a haircut and I feel like I just look like this guy right now. <laughs> so anyway, let's get rid of him and here's profit trailer. So let's begin. I didn't even bring a notepad or anything. I, I was, I wanted to make a bunch of notes and go through, we're just going to wing it. All right. And hope, and I'm going to use the, the wiki that all of you should be using, but I know a lot of you guys do not want to put the time in reading this thing. So tonight we're going to read it together. <laughs> Because I don't even remember every little damn thing um, from setting this thing up from the very beginning. So, so I'm going to assume that you uh, you probably paid for Profit Trailer and you're trying to figure out what do I do next. So when you go to ProfitTrailer.com, which it used to be ProfitTrailer.io, now it's ProfitTrailer.com. Come over here and click on Releases. I'm going to right click, open this in a new window. This is the newest release of profit trailer okay um bug fixes so what is in this this was updated two days ago uh there's gui same o same o still no support for consecutive buy triggers yada yada uh display missing dust on binance automatically use the backup file if safe file gets corrupted okay so there's a bunch of stuff in there um and then there's a convenient link right here to the wiki okay the wiki is your god that that's your you you should be reading the wiki like five or six times if you're going to be using Profit Trailer to make some serious money. Um, but anyway, this is where you download Profit Trailer. So we're going to download it. And we're going to let that download. And then while that's downloading, we're going to go back over here and we're going to go to the wiki. Okay. This is where all the meat of everything you need to learn how to use Profit Trailer is. This is your Bible. All right. So we're going to go through that. This is going to be a long video. I'm telling you now. You guys have been telling me, begging me, yelling at me, everything else to get it. This is this is it. I'm going over every damn thing. If you don't know how to run Profit Trailer by the time you're, we're done with this video, I'm going to personally fly out to wherever you are. I'm going to leg kick the hell out of you. Okay? And if you complain that I didn't give you enough description or information or anything, I'm going to just leg kick you. All right. So now we got... Um, well, you can't see it, but, um, hold on. Let me see how I'm going to do this. Da, 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 da. I'm going to open this up. Bingo, bingo. I'm going to open up a new window here. Window capture. All right, there we go. So. This a little smaller. And I guess we can. I wish there was a way to put these to the left, maybe. But there. All right. So we're gonna leave that right here. <clears throat> All right. So one of the first things that we're gonna want to do is you're gonna need to get your keys and such. Um, but this here is base setup application properties. So we're going to go in here and see what this says. All right. So basically, this is telling you exactly how to set up your application properties file. Okay. So that is this file here. Now, I would propose you use, um, what do I have on this computer? I'm going to actually download Notepad++. Notepad++. Plus plus, because I really like I use this on uh, the VPS and it works really well. So we're gonna download Notepad plus plus. You just Google it. First link comes up. Hit download. 
Um, actually, I'm going to get the 64-bit because um, that's what I use. So we're going to download that. <clears throat> And this is ultimately going to let us, you know, like I use Dreamweaver for a lot of, I almost forgot where you were. I use Dreamweaver for a lot of like code and stuff like that, that I do for websites and things of that nature. So, but Notepad++ is, it's really quick to open and and there are a lot of benefits to it. It's actually pretty slick. Um, I just started using it. I actually found out about it from another video somewhere else. I don't remember exactly where, but, um, so I'm going to install it, which you're probably not going to see. So if you're installing it while well, we're installing it together, it takes like a couple seconds because it's not very big. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put a shortcut on the desktop and we're going to run it. So let me open up another window. All right. So that's my notepad plus plus fresh open. We can close this little window there. And um, that'll be that. So let's make this a little bit smaller. All right. So, and we begin. So we're back to the application properties. And ultimately, what you guys were wanting to do is you're going to right-click, edit with Notepad++. All right. So I'm going to make this a little bigger. It's going to be kind of hard to show you guys. Is there a way to make it? I just want... Oh, that kind of sucks. All right. Okie day. So I guess we can try to do it that way. I'll just cover up my face for a little bit. I'm sure you guys won't mind. All right. So basically what it's looking for here, um, it's looking for your server port. Um, so your server port, your default will be 8081. That's You don't need to touch that. Your Telegram bot token. So if you run Telegram... And you want to set that up. I can explain how to do that later on. I really really wasn't prepared to explain how to set all that up, but you have to, yeah, it's a little bit of a process. Uh, but you get, if you're, if you have your own telegram channel or your own telegram, uh, group or whatever, and you want the activity from your trading bot to just kind of show up on your telegram on your phone and alert you every time you make a buy or a sale, that's what this does. And it works very well. Um, I use it and I, I like it a lot. Um, your trading exchange is, um, Bitrix or whatever exchange you're using, really. Uh, let's see here. Server time zone offset, um, server site name that's set for Poloniex, which no, this is, you can kind of change this to whatever you want. I call it like my crypto crow BTC bot. Okay. And then your server password. So set a password to require login before allowing access to your monitoring page. So you don't really have to do that. Um, if you're the only one accessing it, it's fine. Um, okay, trading history equals eight. That's fine. It used to be like two days. So now I guess the default's eight days because everybody got tired. Of, I guess everybody got tired of changing it. I changed mine to seven. So like every week. Um, it keeps a week's worth of data, which is cool. Now this is where you guys are going to put your APIs. Okay. So what you guys are going to have to do is you go to, um, like I use Bitrix and, and okay. So just to give you guys kind of an idea. So you have, you can get Poloniex, Bitrix or Binance, right? Bitrix is the most popular because it has the highest trade volume of all the exchanges. And why, why is that important? That's important well, you can't even see me right now. I guess you probably want to for this moment in time. Um, it's important because where the hell? All these windows are getting crazy. Um, Bit, Bit, the Bitrix is important and the trade volume is important because it makes it easier for you to get out of a trade. So if I, you know, on a low volume exchange, if I if I buy, you know. A thousand of a particular cryptocurrency on, you know, Poloniex, it might take me longer to exit that position at profit than it would on Bitrix because the volume is much higher on Bitrix. By I would, if I were to rate the exchanges based off of volume and activity, I would, I'm, I'm guessing, but I would say Bitrix is number one. Binance might be two. Actually, Poloniex might be two, but you're very limited in pairs. Poloniex doesn't have nearly as many trading pairs as either of the other two. 
So, and trading pairs is obviously important. So if I were to list them in importance, I would say Bitrix number one, Binance number two, and Poloniex is three. Um, so, but you know, in some cases, like right now, I guess that part of it kind of depends on where you can actually get an account. From what I've been hearing lately, is Binance is now accepting new accounts. I guess they're all caught up on their backlog, so things are working out for them. So, but you're going to need to set up two API keys basically. Um, you've got your default API key, your def default API key secret. And then this is where this is where you have a second API key that will be used to do all of the buying and selling. All right. So, and what, 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 and this is confusing for some people because you're thinking, well, I'm going to have a, I, I'm going to have my, my API key from the bot, right? Or from, from profit trailer. Actually, no, you're actually setting up two separate API keys and you're using them both in here. The one API key is the one you're activating as licensed with profit trailer. Okay. Through their whole system, which they they'll exp they explain that somewhere in here, which I'll I'll review that as well. Probably should have started there. Um, and then the other is the one that you're actively using for your trades. Okay, so that's how that works. I remember very early on when I was confused. I'm like, I don't know. Am I? Is there something I'm supposed to get from Profit Trailer? But Profit Trailer has their own like um, bot system where you plug in your API key and it activates it as a license under your name. Okay, so that's how that works. Chances are that's probably the first thing you've done, I'm assuming. Um, let's see. So you go down trading history. Oh, okay, so there it is. Two days, server port, API key. Um, so put your licensed API key in secret here, which is they're talking about this set here. Um, and then your server, server time zone offset, so based off of wherever you're located. And then uh, your Telegram bot token. Your Telegram bot token. See, Telegram setup. So this here, I actually tell you exactly what steps you need to take to get your Telegram, uh, like your API keys and all that stuff. So this breaks it all down for you right here. I followed the instructions on this. I got my keys and they worked. So um, I don't know if I should waste, I don't know if I should spend time explaining this or not. It's literally all right here on this page. Okay. So um I'm going to guess that the majority of you aren't going to be doing this, so I'm probably going to spare the time. Um, so, uh, Telegram, post new orders, true. Yes, okay. All right, so that's your application settings. Hopefully that was, does that make sense? I hope. Um, so we're going to close the application settings. New, new, new. I don't need to save them. All right, and we'll kind of minimize this again for now. All right, now, upgrade instructions. So if you're going to upgrade to another version, minimal system requirements. So for, for some of you that might be having some issues, make sure you look at this. Windows 7 or higher, 32 or 64-bit, minimum of 2 gigs of RAM, uh, 500 megabytes of free space because the log file can get big. Um, Java 8, make sure you're running Java. You will get errors if you do not install the latest version of Java, especially as you're using the latest versions of Profit Trailer. So if you just bought it and you download the latest version of Profit Trailer, you try to run it and it's not doing anything, it's probably because you need Java 8. You need the latest version of Java installed. So you just click this link. Free Java download, you start it, and, and then when it activates, you'll see a little like video and a little thing saying congratulations. It's very, very simple, but that is probably what's causing a lot of you some issues right now. Um, a decent text editor like Notepad++, there you go. Um, I don't use um, the command terminals or anything like that. I just use Windows. I don't, I, you know, I'm not tech headed enough to deal with all the command prompts and stuff. I honestly haven't touched that stuff since I was going for my, uh, what was it? The triple a light, uh, light when I was a tech guy, I don't even remember what it was called. A plus. That's what it was. A plus certification. I failed that damn thing by one test. And I'm like, screw this. <laughs> um, so anyway, set up SSL, um, on a bot running Linux. I don't know anything about Linux. I'm not a hacker. I don't really run Linux. Known issues with Profit Trailer. Uh, if you encounter the following error message in the log, um, error application, please fix trading API key invalid signature. I ran into this myself. Go to API keys on your exchange, create an empty API key with no permission, save it, 
and then save now set permissions for that API key, save it, use that API key and secret for default and trading. So I, I created, I did, the, I had to do this myself. Um, when I first set it up, I was getting that exact error. And then I went into the profit trailer and I will tell you like, you know, the, the, I would not know and have done what I have done with profit trailer without Profit Trailers Telegram and the and the support that they offer there. Okay, Elroy is great. Diesel is great. And honestly, Diesel Diesel helped me a lot when I first got started. Um, and and you know I feel like I, I want to try to figure out a way to support that guy because honestly, like if you go in there, um, you know he's almost always in there and he's always answering questions. He's always very helpful. You know Elroy, who's the developer who you know built this whole thing. Um, he's helpful when he's on, like everybody is super helpful in that community. And it's one of the big reasons why I took to profit trailer the way I did. Um, you know, the gob one, I want to make sure I plug him because when I was first getting started with profit trailer, I was watching his videos. So make sure you guys subscribe to him. Like I know that my channel has blown up and it's done very well, but I learned a lot of my beginning stuff from the gob one. So, you know, make sure you guys show love and support to him as well. Um, you know, his videos are great. Like he doesn't, he doesn't get on video like I do. And, um, but I'd like to see him do better because he puts a lot of time into a lot of the stuff that he does. And, and I really respect that guy. So, you know, make sure you guys show some love to him. And he has, he has videos too on different settings. And, you know, he does a lot of the same things that I do now that I kind of understand what's going on. Um, so anyway, um, no other known issues for profit trailer, all DCA enabled trigger pairs and properties in combination with stop loss trigger. So we initiate a stop loss before DCA is completely finished. Try avoiding this combination. So I haven't run into that. Um, known issues in profit trailer 1.26 SO sell only mode on Binance does not work correctly. Disable the sell only mode triggers to avoid getting spammed by telegram messages. I did run into that when I tried to use my uh, US Tether um, in BTC trades. And I was just like, I don't know what the hell's going on. And it wasn't enough for me to like challenge and, and push through it. All right. Telegram setup, FAC, application properties, configuration properties. All right. Now, let me find the folder. We're moving forward here. Configuration properties. Um, wow, this is a big file. <laughs> All right, not a lot to do here, folks. Sell options. Uh, you're really not going to change any of this. Test mode false. All right, so just leave that alone. And you're done. All right. Um, profit trailer. So you got application settings. You have your API keys. All that stuff should be done. So now we're going to go into the pairs settings. Where's the pairs, pairs, pairs properties. All right, so I'm gonna make this bigger once again so y'all can see my ugly mug with my new shiny haircut. Um, you know, there I go, there I go, there I go, there I go again. All right, so this is your market. The majority of you guys are gonna be trading in BTC. Although I will tell you right now, with the way Bitcoin has, has been doing, I'm like, I'm personally kind of afraid to be running my bot right now um, because, man, when Bitcoin's at like 14, 14, 5, you know, bouncing around a little bit to 15,000, I swear every time I start running my bot, Bitcoin spikes $2,000, $3,000 overnight because the Asian market going on online and doing their thing. And I wake up the next day with a bunch of bags. So, and, and Ethereum is on a steady very, kind of a steady but controllable rise. It's very consistent. So I'm not saying you have to, and I'm not saying I am just yet either, but depending on what you're trying to get out of the bot, like I'm personally trying to improve my Bitcoin position overall, um, but it'd probably be p more profitable, at least short term, um, trading with an Ethereum, you know, in the, in the Ethereum market. So, I mean, keep that as a note just to let you know, because I know that if I were running my bot on Ethereum right now, instead of sell only mode, waiting for Bitcoin to do whatever the hell it's going to do, uh, I'd probably be doing a lot of money each day. And so that being said, we're going to, for now, I'm going to keep this at the market as BTC, all trading enabled false, all, well, that shouldn't be false. 
So you can do different things here. Um, you can, I, I say true, okay, because I want to trade everything, but I also want to limit um, pairs. Now, here's what I'm going to show you, show y'all. I, I got to remember. Hold on a minute. I'm going to, I'm actually, I'm actually going to team viewer into my current bot and take a look at my files real quick. Um, where the hell is it? I lost my team viewer. I don't know where the hell it is. Um, come on, man. Sorry, folks. Team viewer. All right. I'm going to try and connect into my uh, VPS real quick because I want to pull some settings out of there. <clears throat> because what I've done, I know that a lot of you guys were asking about it earlier. Um, so I still have three pending and one pair waiting to be sold. So, all right. Um, what I did, I'm going to see if it'll let me show you guys this. Hold on. One more window to open here. Oh, it's not going to let me show you the photo. Hold on. I swear, I feel like OBS kind of picks and chooses what it wants to support and what not. I gotta get rid of this, remove it. All right, so I'm gonna open this in a different way here. Hold on. Pull this up, and bam. Does that change over for you guys? Okay. Ooh, wow. Why does that look like hell? So, okay, maybe that's why I my OBS didn't want to show it. You can barely see anything. Okay. Well, I will. Um, I'll have to figure out another way to show you. And what I'll probably end up doing is creating a file for you guys. As you can see, this is the list of all of the um, Bitrix pairs, and I went through manually, and I. You can't really see what's BC. Okay. So the ones you can actually see are the ones that I have actually listed as a, something I don't want to trade. And yes, I put Dash in there as well, which that's a personal choice, so you guys can do what you want with that. But I I went through every one of these coins and, and ultimately locked out all the ones that I see huge pump and dump patterns, okay? Because um, I don't want those. Because that's how you get caught with extra bags, and, and I don't want them. So I did go through almost all of them. All of these on the right here... Um, well, you can't even see me moving my mouse. So uh, I'll, I'm going to create a file so that you can go in and block out. Where am I? Let me close this one. And we're going to go back here. And <clears throat> so the pairs, pro I'm going to go into the pairs properties. Master settings, buy pet possible. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> what you can do is you can say all enabled pairs. All, or you can say all enabled pairs, BTCH and ETH, BTC and LTC. That's how Bitrix, so each each um, each platform or each exchange that you're using has a different way of doing pairs. So if you're on Binance, it's just ETH, BTC, LTC, BTC. So that's that's how you're doing, that's how the, uh, the pairs work there. Poloniex, which I've never used. I don't even know if anybody does use it. That's how that works. But you're probably going to use one of these two. All right. So, um, all trading enabled true. That is, man, I really should have planned this a little better, guys. I'm sorry. This is, it's just so much. And there's so many windows to keep open. And I don't really know a better way of doing this. Um, all right. We're going to just get rid of that because we don't really need it. All right, cool. So that one's gone. Now let me find there. Okay. Damn it. Dang it. This is not. Oh. Hold on. And you guys are like, damn it, Jason. Why did you? Why are you doing this to us? I'm wasting my time waiting for you to figure out these stupid windows. 
I don't know where the hell there. Okay, thank you. Finally. All right. All right, I'm just going to cover my face again here. It's the easiest way of doing it. All right. So, all max trading pairs. This so we're going to go down. We're going to start here. All right. So, all trading pairs true, and we're just going to say all enabled pairs all. Now, if there's a pair that I don't want to sell, I will let me find it. Buy settings, I'll buy. Um, where is it? I mean, I kind of remember and I kind of know, but I'm so worried about giving you guys bad info. I want to make sure it's right. Um, triggers. Bot price. Okay, so for whatever, I know it's on here, there's just so much. Um, all right, this is it. So if there is a coin that I don't want to trade, so right now, um, this says, you know, all trading enabled true, all enabled pairs, all. However, I come down here and all of the coins that I've put, uh, that I've blacked out that I don't want to trade, I just basically create the pair here so BTC, um, I like Sphere, I know it was one of them. Um, BTC Sphere, trading enabled equals false. And then you just go down the list and you create these, you're, you're just locking them out so that your bot's not trading them. So this is saying that it's gonna trade everything but these coins, okay? Now this, this is your all max cost, all right? So this is ultimately, you know, you can sit on, That's this is a fine setting. Honestly, the default settings on this are okay. Like you, you can get away with a lot of the stuff just running them at default. Um, and you might even want to try it just starting out. Maybe this is the leave this alone, leave that alone. This, your volume, this is kind of high. This is basically saying that you're not going to trade any pairs on Bitrix unless it has at least 500 Bitcoin a day in trade volume. Okay, so this I just I would take it down to maybe 200 um, and because you're basically you're just trading strictly like the top 100 coins, maybe I think at, at a 500 uh, daily. So change that to 200 all min buy price. That's okay. Leave that at zero all max trading pairs. This is ultimately going to depend on your budget. So you can leave it at 10 just to try the bot out. If you're brand new, I'm looking at the camera like you can see me and I know and you can't. Um, but if you've got a huge budget, I mean, I've run this as high as 50, you know what I mean? If I want to trade 50 pairs, but it just kind of depends. But for now, I would suggest just leaving that at 10 and just testing things out. Learn these settings. Look, excuse me, learn what everything means. Um, all max buy spread, just, you can leave that at one. I mean, here's the thing, like all of these settings here, I'm just explaining to you kind of what some of them are. Um, but you can leave these at default and profit trailer will still make money. Uh, it, you know, my settings are much more aggressive in, in a lot of ways. So, and, and if, and for those of you that are trying to get this running with profit feeder, the add on, it's going to change all, a lot of this stuff anyway. So I, you know, but this is for some, I'm just showing you guys specifically how to get profit trailer set up right now. But honestly, the out of the box settings are enough to get you going. So if you're having issues with, you know, well, I don't know how to get this set up and it's not working and hasn't bought anything in so long and I don't know what's happening, you need to look at your log files. And I'm going to show you some of that. Um, all stop loss trigger. I don't use a stop loss because I don't sell at a loss. Uh, all panic, uh, panic sell enabled, false. All DCA enabled, false, which is true. Um, all sell only mode, false. So let's say... Uh, let's say you're not using a Bitcoin trigger so that if Bitcoin spikes, you know, 6%, which is what you could do here. You could say if Bitcoin spark spikes at 6%, um, I want you to go into sell only mode. And if it, if it comes back down 3%, I want you to go ahead and start buying and trading again. All right. That's basically what that is. And you can do it the other way If Bitcoin. Oh, well, this is Bitcoin drops. I don't know if that was reversed. So if Bitcoin drops 6%, and then if it recovers, say 4%, then it'll go back to normal and it'll start trading again. That's what this is. Now, 
if I, for whatever reason, I just want to go into sell only mode. Maybe I'm experimenting with settings or whatever. Uh, and I don't want the bot to buy anything else. I just put true and that's it. And the bot will go into sell only mode. It won't buy anything else at all. It'll just focus on selling all the bags or whatever you have. What is a bag? I've, I've seen this question. I've answered it quite a few times, I think in the, in previous videos, but ultimately, uh, the bag, a bag is when you, um, hold on a second. Let me move this. Cause I want to look at you. Um, a bag is basically when your bot is looking for good trades. Okay. And it bought, let's say, let's say a uh, profit trailer buys Ethereum at a dollar. Okay. Or buy Maybe it buys Cardano at a dollar and it's buying it, expecting it to go up, right? It's you, whatever your minimum, your settings are. Maybe you're, you, maybe you're willing to sell it at a 0.69% uh, profit so that after the, the fees, Excuse me. After the fees, you're making you're still making a profit, but you're getting out of a trade, right? Now, the trailing aspect of profit trailer is going to follow, you know, on an EMA spread, which is what I trade with, and it's really the only strategy that I personally like. Um, but it will follow the trade. So if I buy it at a dollar, expecting it to go, you know, to you know a uh, dollar and ten cents or whatever. Then that's fine. It'll do that. But if it's if it sees with using the indicators that it's continuing to rise, that trailer. That's the whole point of profit trailer is it will follow the profit all the way until it dips a little bit, and that's when it activates a sale. Okay. So that's that's it's not just chopping up you know hard sell sales. It's it'll follow it one way or the other wherever you want it to go. Now, um. I forget what the hell I forget what the hell my original point was. Um, so stop loss trigger. Yeah, I don't use that. DCA um, enabled that says false, but on another page, I mean, you don't need DCA, I guess. But if you want it to, you can set the DCA. And I'm going to show you my my actual files for something to really explain because mine are different than obviously than these. And because a lot of you guys are using them, so I'm going to explain what a lot more of that stuff means. But I just kind of, I'm trying to give you guys an understanding and force you guys to look at this wiki. Um, so possible buy log settings, all max trading pairs, okay. We don't need any of that stuff. All right, so basically, I mean, as it sits right now, when you take Profit Trailer out of the box and you add your API keys, you can officially double-click that Profit Trailer button and it'll run and start making profit. It should. Um, if the market is down, so, oops, sorry. Um, if the market is down, like by that, I mean, Bitcoin is down a lot, then you're probably not going to see as many trades. You're not going to see as much activity because it's just kind of how, I mean, you don't really want to anyway, when, when I've seen some people who have bought, uh, they bought profit trailer or that you guys picked up feeder. And you're like, man, I just bought this you like yesterday and it's barely making any trades. There's there's actually a lot of reasons for that. A, the the, the settings are pretty aggressive and Bitcoin is just not in a place where you're going to be making really good trades. So I've been telling everybody like in Discord and whatnot to just either put it in sell only mode or or. I've been talking to the developers because I couldn't even find a place to put that trigger because feeder overwrites a lot of these files and I couldn't find a place to put a 6% trigger in there. Um, so I just left it in sell only mode. And while I'm talking about feeder, I know that a bunch of you guys had some issues um, when you bought, uh, whether you're sending too much money or, you know, you bought it and you didn't get your license quickly. Um, they, so they told me last night that their automated licensing system is now up and running. So now when you buy it, you should just get your license key right there. You don't have to wait for somebody to manually create it. If you do, and keep in mind, I do not own profit trailer. I do not own profit feeder. They are owned by completely separate entities. One group built Profit Trailer, another group built the add-on Profit Feeder. I am neither. I'm just somebody who uses it, loves it, and promotes it. That's it. So I don't have like, you know, I've had quite a few people come to me recently saying, hey, man, I bought this, but I still didn't get my license. What do I got to do? What Can you get me my license? I, I can't. I don't have access to anybody's systems. Um, but I know that a lot of the profit feeder guys have been in my discord channel, helping everybody as they come as well as their own discord channel. And they're actually in my channel, pulling people into their channel so that they can help you more effectively. Okay. So know that I had one guy tell me, and I felt bad, but 
I had one guy tell me like, hey, you know, Jason, I bought this thing and I haven't been able to get proper to support. You know, I feel like I'm being scammed. You're not being scammed. I'm using the software. I've showed you guys that it does work. It, it exists. It's not vaporware or anything like that. They sold like 1,500 licenses in a matter of a couple of days and they were manually issuing every license. I, I get the frustration that you didn't get it instantly, but I assure you, these guys have been cranking it out. I see, I can do, I can come online just about any time and I see Call of Hoy and J Rod and all these guys on the Profit Feeder team. They're still in Discord, still trying to help everybody. So, you know, I, you know, and I, and they tell me things that are, they're of course not going to tell you, but these guys have been working to the bone to make sure that everybody is happy and that you guys are up and running. And so you've got a small group of people handling like 1500 orders practically overnight and trying to offer tech support in addition to that. It's a tall task. Admittedly, they told me we were not at all ready for all of the volume that, that you sent us. Um, and they've made some jokes about it, you know, being like crow like traffic and stuff like that. They're all happy, um, but it has not been an easy thing. And, and they, but they're finally getting to the point where the licensing system is automated, everything's quicker, and they're able to start putting more support in place on helping everybody get up and running, solve any issues. Um, we're actually going to be going tonight uh, and, and sorting through some new. Um, because they've been upgrading some things and they're, and we're going to tweak my settings more and we're going to make sure that that's even a little more perfected because I told them, uh, and I'm supposed to tell all you guys that I hounded them to get their shit together and they did. So there you go. Call a boy. I told everybody, um, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not a hard ass. Uh, but you know, I know that a lot of you guys look to me for support. I'm telling you guys about this. And when people are coming to me with a lot of issues, I take that personally. And so I did kind of go to them and, and, um, I don't want to say I lit a fire, but I just inspired them to make sure that all of you were being taken care of. Okay. And he told me it was okay to let you know that I did that. Um, so anyway, okay. So you guys have been staring at this page for a while. I am going to open up my bot let me before i do that i'm going to go into an older config no hold on sorry i know this is boring for just a second i should be i should be on my laptop doing this where are all my okay There we go. All right, this is what I want to show you guys. So, bingo, bango, bingo, bango. I know this is a little bit of a cluster, but I'm really just trying to give you guys everything I can in one video. Um, all right. So, this is actually an older set of settings before I started running feeder. And um, so, I'm going to kind of go over what some of this stuff means and, and what all it is. So, this is before I set things up a little bit differently since then, but ultimately that's what this stuff is. This is me blocking out certain pairs that I don't want to trade. Um, so BTC is my market, all enabled pairs. These are all I, I per I manually entered every pair that I want to trade. Okay. Instead of just blocking out the handful that I don't, I put in every pair that I want to trade. If you want this, I can give it to you. I'll, maybe I'll put it in my Discord, but it's really not necessary. Um, so I had this running at 0 .005 max cost, and this is a bit of a this is a bit more aggressive, um, depending on your budget. Uh, minimum buy balance of 0 .1, and basically what this means is if I have uh, 0.5 Bitcoin as my total budget, I'm looking at the camera again, like you can see me. Um, but if I if I have um, if I have 0.5 Bitcoin as a total budget, it will stop buying when I'm down to 0.1. Now the reason for doing that could be different things. Maybe I'm not running DCA, and I want to save a backup. I want to save some money in case you know the market's not working the way I want it to. And I can I can basically just turn on DCA settings with what budget I have left. Um, there are different reasons for doing that. I prefer really to have just, I feel better to have a little bit left. And it's only nine o'clock. I'm not really that tired. 
So all minimum buy volume, 10. Um, all minimum buy price. So this is basically like set way, way, way low. Max trading pairs, I have it at 35. Uh, minimum buy spreads, 0.7. Now, and this here, these are all the coins where, you know, I don't want to trade this one or I do want to trade this one. And, and honestly, what I was doing here, these are kind of old settings. Um, but what I was kind of doing here is like PKB, I picked up as a bag. And I'm like, I never want to trade that coin again. And I realized it's kind of a pumper. And I was just like, all right, I never want to trade that coin again. So I basically locked it out. Um, but some of these are coins that I plan to lock out, but I needed to sell them first. So if I just put, if I have a bag, uh, oh, that's what I was explaining when I lost track because I'm an idiot. So if you if you buy Cardano at a dollar, <laughs> we'll come back to this five minutes later. Uh, if you buy Cardano at a dollar and then ultimately it drops in price, right? It drops to 90 cents. You're not selling it. It's not going to sell it. The bot's not going to sell it because you're not at profit. So it's it's going to hold on to it. So basically it goes into a nice little bag, right? Where you're basically sitting on a bag of coins waiting to sell them. That's what a bag is. It's just a term. Um, and so when you... Um, you're, the idea of the DCA settings is when you get a bag... If the price drops a certain percentage, like negative 4%, negative 3%, then you use this Anderson double down setting so that based off of the number of tiers, you're averaging, you're lowering your average cost, okay? So if I bought a 1,000 Cardano at a dollar, and then the price goes down 5%, and then I buy another 1,000, well, I'm averaging down my price to maybe 95 cents. And if it continues to go down from there, you're doubling down again, lowering your average price to like 90 cents. So that when it goes up a hair, you make that profit mark faster than having to go to like a dollar ten. Well, now you only have to go to like 96 cents or whatever. You see how that works? So you can have as many DCA tiers as you want, but it can really suck up a budget quickly. And so that's why you want to be kind of like until you really know what you're doing or you have a significant budget, you want to either not use DCA because it's just a matter of time most most of the time until these coins go back up. Um, but, you know, that that's that's really what what that's all about. Um, so EMA spread is my buy strategy. Um, buy value. I mean, some of these things you don't even really, I mean, it's not even a big deal for you to know because you're not going to be changing much of this stuff anyway. Your stop loss trigger you don't need because unless you really like, I, I will, I do not, I will not sell at a loss. I will hold a coin until it goes back up. It takes a week. It takes two weeks. I don't care. I'll hold a coin. I'm not selling a coin at a loss because in crypto, you really don't need to. It really is just a matter of time. So I don't use a stop loss trigger. How long, how long is this? Uh, wow, it's 42 minutes. Uh, this will probably be my longest video. So I hope you're learning. I hope I hope I'm doing this well enough. Um, this isn't like instructional videos aren't necessarily my thing. <laughs> um, but I, I'm a, I just I'm trying to help out a little bit. Um, all DCA enabled is negative four. So this basically means that if I buy a coin and it goes down by 4%, the first DCA, it'll go into my DCA. Um, and then from there, let's see if I can, um, yeah, I don't know what that, I don't know what's going on there. All right. Um, so from there you'll, it'll start activating your DCA trigger settings and so forth. Um, e indicator properties. I think the default on that is fine. You're probably not going to change those. So Yeah. That's it. You're really not going to mess with much else. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. Um, so look, I mean, in a nutshell, it sounds like some of you guys are having, I think some of you guys are having more issues with the bot in terms of, you know, get, you, know, you say, well, he teaches how to get it set up. Getting it set up really isn't tricky. Most of you, I think, have get, you're getting it set up. I think you're running into things that, um, oh, interesting. So this happened again, adjust date and time. Now this has been a problem that I've been having on this VPS. It hasn't happened in over a week, but um, yeah, A, it's the ninth and it is, sorry, 8.57 PM. Yeah, my VPS sometimes likes to shut down 
randomly and then reset its time, which is kind of a pain in the butt because things don't typically work well. Um, so yeah, if you're having any issues, make sure you double check your, your time. Yeah, you can see that down there. Make sure you double check your time. Okay, so I mean, all that being said, I mean, what this all boils down to, and I'm hoping that you guys get this, if you read the wiki, let me see if, um, if you read this wiki thoroughly a few times, you'll get a much better understanding as to what every one of these settings are. And let's say one of these files uh, of settings, ha it doesn't contain something and you see something in here and you're like, I want to be able to use that functionality. All you do is copy it and paste it into whatever that may be. And blah, blah, blah. Where is it? There we go. So you just, you copy and paste it. You can really paste just about anything, anywhere, and the bot will recognize it, okay? And and the, and the bot will, like, you can adjust settings on the fly while Profit Trailer's running. So that's another thing you guys should know. If I change this file and I hit save, you'll see my bot just, it'll just say, you know, um, changes detected, and then it'll go back normal heartbeat. And it it just it just adopts whatever you've told it to do, and that and that's it. And it's very simplistic. I think the easiest thing from here to do would be to kind of if you have comments, um, like if you're watching this, if I haven't happened to explain anything, or, if, or <laughs> I feel like I've explained a lot, but I'm not sure if I'm nailing anything on the head because I know that some of you guys are having very unique issues. Um, some of your issues, I might tell you flat out. You know, hey, that's a that's not like that's a technical issue or um, it could be maybe your time change. It could be like in order to really dive deep, you kind of have to look at somebody's log file and see what is the log saying when you're, if you, if something's not working, you want to look at this. Often it will tell you, it will give you an error here and tell you exactly what's going on. And if it's a common error, you're going to find it on the wiki. Well, that's not the wiki, um, but it's a common error that you're going to find on the, on the, where is it? Oh, that's right, because I'm on the VPS. Um, but you're going to find it here. So, you know, without, I mean, I could spend three hours going through every little thing here, which I don't think any of you guys want. But, you know, in a nutshell, the, the settings that I've provided, you know, once you, the only setting, I'll tell you guys straight up, the only setting that you're really going to change, especially if you're using um, a, a settings set that I've provided is your configuration. I'm pretty sure I don't even want to open that on, but it's your configuration settings. Um, and then potentially your application properties, everything in this trading folder, that's all like stuff I'm giving you. So you're just dragging and dropping and it's going to overwrite all of these files here. And that's, what's going to ultimately change the way your bot runs. You can effectively, and I suggest especially for brand new folks, get your profit trailer, put your license keys in there and just run it. Just run it and see what happens. You can increase and in, I mean, the, the settings that come stock are profitable settings. They're just not super aggressive. So, but that's okay. I want all of you guys to put more time into learning the intricacies of the bot, understanding what the different settings mean and so forth and so on. I still don't know what every single little thing means or does, um, but I don't use all of it. Um, and so I've, I've just, you know, I found that I don't really need to know every little thing, but if something happens or if I like with my EMA spread strategy, I'm comfortable with EMA spread specifically because that's how I would swing trade. And there's, a, I have a video on my course and I think I put something like that, uh, on this channel here about, you know, swing trading using the EMA indicators and how to kind of tell, you know, when one crosses over the other and all that, I kind of went through the, well, that's basically what the EMA spread strategy does in profit trailer. So that's what I'm comfortable with. So I'm setting up everything. Um, I don't think I need to, when I'm setting up everything, this is an EMA gain, which this is, this is from the old, um, the old settings that I was actually testing last night that I did not like. I was just testing them and I didn't like EMA gain. So we close that. Um, 
So anyway, there are new settings that I'm hoping to release this evening. And under this video, <clears throat> they're probably not going to be up when this video is finished uploading. I don't know. It'll probably be late tonight because they told me um, they're working on some things late. It's like 9 o'clock, so it'll probably be like midnight until they get around to working with me on fine-tuning some things. So um, it'll be later tonight, but when they are ready, I'm going to up late or up late. Uh, I will be up late. Um, I'm going to upload those settings here. I'm just going to upload a folder. Um, and well, those are feeder settings, by the way. So if you're running profit feeder, I'm going to be updating those profit feeder settings. If you're having a specific issue, something's not working, join my discord and you will get help. Um, Facebooking me directly, texting me, all that stuff. You're not going to get help that way because 99 out of 100 times, it is something that I cannot help you with, okay? Just so you guys know, this is not my software. I'm just trying to help everybody make some money with it. Um, and that's that, okay? I'm going to cut this here because we're closing in on a full-blown hour. Um, and uh, But you're welcome. If you're having some concerns or issues with the bot, post them in the comments here, and I will alert um, the profit feeder guys, because I think that's what some of you guys are having more issues with than anything. Um, it's just setting up profit feeder, not understanding how to uh, do stuff, but that's not what this particular video is about. This is strictly just to kind of help explain things and get people initially set up a profit trailer. It's not difficult at all to get profit trailer set up. So, um, you know, when you, when you do ask for help, I want you guys to make sure that you're looking at the uh, profit trailer screen See if there are any errors in there so that you can help anybody that's working with you understand what's happening and why there might be an error or a bug or something, all right? Hopefully, this video is helpful. Somehow, I'm, for whatever reason, I'm worried because I feel like it's not as helpful as I want it to be, but it's really difficult to address a lot of random issues at once. So my, my, my whole kind of thing for this video is to guide you to the wiki, explain some of what you're going to find on the wiki, and, and ultimately get you moving in that direction. I don't think you should personally be running this bot strictly off of somebody's settings alone without understanding what they mean. And while, you know, people can go through and explain little things, I really want I really want you guys to look at that wiki. Um, I've read through the damn thing five times myself. So, and I still don't really remember every little nuance or detail. All right. But I refer to it a lot. But I mean, I've got it to the point where I can run the bot um, pretty successfully without any errors, hiccups, or anything like that. Uh, and if I want to change some settings because I want to try a different strategy out or whatever, I, I know enough about it now that I can do that. Um, so that being said, hopefully this is helpful and, uh, I'm going to cut it there guys, crow your coins and I'll be back soon with a new video.